Hello, it's just a quick video on how to build your Pi Bow for the Pi 4. We have several variants, the rainbow, we have a ninja, we also have a red one called the coupe. So the first thing you need to do is peel off the plastic, that just stops it getting damaged on its way to you. It's a little bit fiddly, but peel it off all of the layers before you start. Once you've done that, you need to put the base writing side down onto your table or surface that you're preparing it on. So look for the writing and put that on the table side. When you get your layers, if you look in the corner, you'll see little numbers and those little numbers all line up in the same corner. That's layer one and you put that on top of the base. Next thing you need layer two. Careful with this one, it's a little bit bendy. Layer two, little two in the corner, lines up with the one that you put down before. Next thing you need is your Pi 4. With the pins at the top, place that down onto layer two. It should slot into that little gap there. Layer three is a little bit more fiddly, but once you line it up right, it should just slide on. So line it up over the USB ports and just give it a gentle wiggle if it needs it. It should slide down and fit perfectly. The top layer is the one with all the etching on. Make sure you've got it the right way up. It shouldn't fit the wrong way up, so you'll be all right. Again, line it up with USB ports and just give it a little jiggle down. There we go. And then the nuts and bolts that come with it, if you put them in from the top down, then the bits that stick out become a little bit of a, um, little, like little legs that keep it off the table. So just push it through the corners and then add on the little nut. So that should just go on there. If there's any excess, you can clip it off with a pair of snips if you like. Once you've done all four, that is your case built. Um, some of the optional things are a heat sink. If you want a heat sink, peel off the backing and then it should line up perfectly with the gap in the top of the case. So here we are backing off. Look for the gap. And it just lines up perfectly. Give it a gentle press down and you're done. The other thing you could use is the fan shim that we've released um, to go with this. And it lines up on the pins on the far left. So you just push it on gently. Make sure that you don't push on the fan. Push on the PCB near the pins instead. And then that's done too. So we've got the rainbow one that I made there and the ninja one is going to add on a heat sink onto this. There you go. So you've got the two different variants there. You can, of course, make it without a heat sink or a fan. Go to learn.pimroni.com for more tutorials and projects.